right, you guys. So basically, I'm just going to show you how to just save the patterns instead of saving them as a template part, just to make sure that is included in the video. All right. So just make sure you go into your editor. All right. So let's start from scratch. Go into appearance, editor. Just give it a moment. All right. Then go into patterns, manage all of my patterns. And just give it a moment to load as well. And that is basically it. So you're just going to add in a new pattern, for example. And let's call it footer. And I'm just going to add in a footer example. Right? So that is pretty much it. So I want to publish that afterwards, just go into your, and again, make sure that the pattern itself is added over here. If it's not, just make sure to save that again, go to the three dots on the right, create block theme, then save change. All right. So. If we try to save changes right now, it's going to be saving the basically the template parts. And again, it's going to reference the block. This is not what we want, right? We want to reference the block that is correct, but we want it to be a pattern over here. We don't want a template part of the footer. And as you can see, it hasn't even been saved to the template parts. So just go into patterns again, go into add and categorized, for example, and you can also export this as a JSON file, right? So in case you lose this for any example, as you can see, you can actually use this as a footer. So let's create another folder over here. This folder is not necessary, but you can just uh, add it. All right, back up and just add in footer uh, JSON, for example. All right, let's see if, for example, we want to delete this. All right, now we don't have a footer. As you can see, I don't have a footer anywhere. So manage all of my patterns. And import from JSON. All right, so if we open this, import. And as you can see, pattern has been imported successfully. So if right now we check out the footer and if for some reason, like in the previous video, uh, you lose your styles like I did, you can just add in the theme.json and as you could see, the theme.json file or the footer.json file basically is gonna basically be like a backup in case your uh, plugin does not generate a pattern PHP code or a template part code, as you could see over here. All right, so this was Angie Review, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to be doing out the unit tests, like I said. I'll see you guys then. Peace. This was Angie Review, and have a beautiful day.